During the World War II about 6 million European Jews were killed by Germans and their collaborators. Jewish soldiers were showed no mercy by German officials. There was mass killing of Jewish soldiers at the prisoners of war camps. The names of those honored for risking their lives to protect Jews are engraved along an avenue of trees at the Jerusalem Memorial. This story will show the courage of Master Sergeant Roddy Edmonds who saved the lives of hundreds of Jewish Americans when they were attacked by Germans in the Battle of Bulge. Chief Stacy, this is Soldier Henry Shimla reporting. Yes. Chief, we got information that Americans are camping near Jerusalem. Okay, can we rely on this information? Yes, Chief, we can rely on this information. Do we have men to capture all of them? Yes, Chief. Okay, Joseph Abel will be in charge for this operation. Follow his instructions. Roger that, Chief. You can dismiss now. After taking permission from the Commander Chief, the soldiers started executing plan under Joseph able to take over American Army and this is how it goes. This is our perimeter and here is our location. According to our information, this is American's base camp. Uh, we will split into two troops, Troop A and Troop B and Troop A will provide us a distraction and that's when the Troop B sneaks into the base camp, Troop B will capture them. Okay? Yeah. We will stick to this plan. In Germany! Let's strike the Americans! Let's They are responsible for death of my people. What do you think I want? I want all the Jews to be dead. Okay, sir. Oh my God! I heard Jews are being separated from prisoners of war 
and are sent to slaughter. Yeah, even I heard of that. Hope they don't do this with us. We should not let Germans to identify Jews from us. Yes. But what if they kill all of us? Everyone deserves to live, whether it's a Jew or a non-Jew. Let's end this war once and for all. Yes. Soldiers, do one thing. Remove everything that helps Germans to identify you as a Jew. Now we are all Jews. Hitler ordered Chief Commander to kill all the Jews from the American army. Rady Edmonds tries to save them. Soldier, who is the highest scientist officer in Mumbai? It is Dr. Roddy Edmonds. Are you a Jew? I'm Roddy Edmonds, 21st Regiment, 106th Division. That didn't answer my question. Of course, it's a convention. I don't need to answer that. I just need to give my name, rank, and serial number. All the Jews can come on! I'm a Jew! Even I'm a Jew! Even I'm a Jew! Even me. We are all Jews! All Jews. All of you can't be Jews. If you are going to kill, you have to kill all of us. Because we know who you are. You will try from all times once you win this war. Soldiers, imprison them. Move. 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 After imprisoning the Americans, the Germans kept on trying to separate Jews from their army. But the Americans stick to their words. Nearly 100 days after imprisonment, German commander had to push the camp inside as the American allies were pushing inside. Rady Edmonds took this as an opportunity and once again led the army to escape successfully from the camp. Would we have the courage of Master Sergeant Roddy Edmonds? I know your dad said he was just doing his job, but he went above and beyond the call of duty. And so did all those who joined in that line. Faced with a choice of giving up his fellow soldiers or saving his own life, Roddy looked evil in the eye and dared a Nazi to shoot. His moral compass never wavered. He was true to his faith. And he saved some 200 Jewish American soldiers as a consequence. Prior to Edmonds, there were only four Americans who belonged to the clergy or volunteered for rescue groups. He's a first serviceman and the first whose actions saved the lives of fellow Americans. It's a matter of five minutes and that is it, when he tells a German, no, that is something that can kill him. It is something very dangerous that is happening in one moment, but it is very heroic. It is not his country, nor his family, or any selfish reason that made him think about the safety of the Jews. He took a risk of imprisoning the non-Jews when he decided to save the lives of the Jews. At that time, what mattered to him was human life and that everyone should be treated equally despite religious differences. It takes a lot of courage to stick to our own morals when time comes. This story about Roddy Edmonds tells us about how people with moral courage can achieve impossible things.